This is for contouring when you have when you're doing pale gothic um foundation. Normally I use a skin palette skin palette, but if you use this the kind of skin palette I use on pale makeup, then the colors skin tone colors come out really like unnaturally colored, like they come out reds and oranges and stuff. Like, not like ultraviolet, but like enough to where it doesn't look like it's supposed to be there. So, I'll be using this gray color in this palette right here. And you don't want to be carried away with this stuff because it's just like regular contouring that goes on really sensitively. So, you just want to do like that and just keep that up I mean I'm already like a really naturally pale person but I still want a more paler look than what I could normally achieve with regular foundation and I'm sorry I cannot talk today now be careful with these side of the face contours because because it's a gray it kind of you don't want to get too carried away otherwise you'll have these little gray splotches on the side of your face so just be very sparingly with that and make sure you I'm sorry excuse me and make sure you um blend it really good because it will be gray and I know I'm making sense this morning I'm really tired I got up it's, I think it's like 6.30 now but I got up at 6 to work out because I'm going to work today so that's why I'm doing this video And then, for your side contours, you might want to add a little bit more, just to make it deeper, but stop, because you don't want to get too much on your side contours. Okay, and that is with that. So, when you have your gray contouring or you know then I use taco which is um brush sugar pill take that put I use a nor use this finger and this is how you're going to do your highlighting And this is like a really, really, really white white. So it will highlight even over your really pale foundation. And it's not super pale foundation, but it's pale enough for me because I don't want to be like ghost white pale. I want it to be like a natural white, so kind of a, a dead looking white, I guess you could say. I don't go for the whole... Obviously, face powder white. And I personally like the whole rosy cheeks things this stuff does to you. Because it kind of, you know, gives off that really subtle look. So, especially if you're doing more like girlier goth looks, but I don't really do that. But, anyways. The only thing I hate about this stuff is, like I said, when it dries, it's really dry, and if you have dry skin anywhere, it's going to make it show up. Like, especially right here, and on your nose, and like on the sides of your face, are bad on me, and it sucks. 
because I'm a naturally very dry skinned person and I cannot help it but I have very bad skin problems unfortunately it's just a hand I was dealt with I really don't know what to do about it I've tried everything it's just it just happens so whatever But I think whenever I go looking for a pale foundation again, I'm going to go for a more moisturized foundation because that stuff is just kind of like, when it dries, it just turns powder pretty much. Or like chalk, I would say, chalk white. So, yeah. But yeah, just put weight in all these places to highlight your face. And I personally like putting weight right here because it brings your lips out. <clears throat> and you can go for that really pouty look. So yeah. Go away here. There we go. No, I'm sorry. I have like really bad indigestion today. I don't mean to. I really need to buy more taco white because I'm almost out. Okay. And yes, I have a very bad habit of wiping my makeup with my clothes. Every one of my family has gotten on me about it. But I can't help it. It's just something I do. Just like a lot of makeup artists put their makeup on their hand when they're doing stuff, I do it on my pants. I try not to so much when I'm working on other people, but yeah. It's a nasty habit I need to quit because it makes my clothes dirty. <clears throat> and then after you do that, um you take any I use NYC smooth skin and transparent translucent. Well transparent and translucent, because I think there's two. Well, it's the same thing, but there's a newer one, an older one, and one called it transparent, one called it translucent. But anyways, I take it, <clears throat> I actually need to get more, because, there we go, I actually need to get more, because it's like that much. But I have several of these, so it'll last me a while, but I mean, like, as far as having a full one. And then you just kind of use this to pretty much set your foundation. better to set with when you have like trans not translucent um it's better for setting when you have really moisturized um foundation like if you're using real foundation that stuff is just kind of manic panic foundation but if you're using like what I use like Alme and um whatever color you are then it's really good for setting foundation but like as far as this stuff it's already pretty dry so there's not really much setting you can do. So it's just kind of, it is what it is. Okay. And I think that was it for contouring. So, yeah. I think so. Yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs>